Paul and Silas were sitting in a jail cell singing hymns. Now, how did they get there? Well, they caused a stir, starting by delivering a slave girl from the demons that kept her captive to the local merchants who were selling her services as a clairvoyant. An earthquake comes, very common in the area around Philippi, but it is so strong that it loosens their chains, the, the bonds that are holding them, throws open the jail door, and there they are, free, and the jailer is scared for his life. He knows that he is overpowered. He knows that uh, whatever, according to the law, according to the rules of engagement for uh, jailers, that he would have to serve the penalty of these men if they escaped. And so he's about ready to throw himself on the sword for the sake of his own dignity and also for the sake of his family. And they come up and, and they say, don't hurt yourself. We're still here. And he says, what must I do to be saved? To be saved. Now, when he asks that question, he's really not talking about his eternal destiny. He's talking about right now. He says, I'm in trouble. How do I get out of this mess? How am I going to be saved? How am I going to redeem my life? How am I going to live past this crisis? And they said, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your whole oikos, your whole household. And so he cleans up their wounds as a sign that he's been fully converted. He begins to act. He begins to believe. He begins to trust. He begins to put his faith in a new Lord uh, other than uh, Lord Caesar, uh, the true Lord, Jesus the Messiah. And it is a trust, and he acts on it. He takes the guys home with him. Uh, they teach the good news, the household is converted, they're baptized. It's a great day. But what of that message? Believe. It is an aorist, uh, active, imperative verb of the root word pistis in the Greek. And aorist means it is accomplished, it is an action in the past. Imperative, it means it's something you must do. You make a decision. And the active part means it has ongoing application. You continue in it. And so Paul and Silas tell the man, you put your confidence, you put your trust, you put your Faith. You put your belief, you put your conviction. In other words, you decide right now that what you're going to trust is a new king, a new ruler, a new lord. And you trust and believe uh, with your whole life and you'll be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Now, the word salvation is going to end up meaning a whole lot more to him as he goes along because it is a total redemption of of his life, and with implications for his whole family. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be saved, and your entire sphere of influence will be affected by this decision. It's far more than intellectual assent. It is more than uh, having one side win the argument, although it's been used that way as it comes to be used in Greek literature and then in the New Testament preaching. It is the commitment of one's life to the cause of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is entering a new kingdom. As a soldier, he knew about allegiance, and he had confidence in Rome. He had confidence in his king, his emperor. He had confidence in his leaders. He trusted them. He trusted his comrades. He knew what it was to exercise the quality of pistis. If you spell it with the English characters, it is P-I-S-T-I-S, -I -I and it is actually the word for pistol that launches a bullet, and this launched his new 
life. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.